When we found out that Martin Luther King was actually coming to Glenville High School, we all said the same thing, wow. I mean, we just couldn't believe it. How could we be this lucky, you know? Everybody was kind of excited and hyper, and really uh, the school was, had a buzz about this larger-than-life figure coming to our school. So it was a lot of excitement. I remember that. I remember the excitement of the school, the buzz. He was a TV star. For all, you know, he, he was a civil rights warrior, but for us, he was also a TV star. Just break it down. He was, he was a rock star. I can still remember them coming to get us, and I remember us walking outside, and there was a wall of black suits, and we went through the middle of it, and they were saying, walk, 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 and all of us were going through this wall of black suits, and at the end of the wall was just sunshine, and we looked up, and there he was, and he did like this to me, and I so I shook his hand, and that's when the flash bulbs went off. It was wild, it was really crazy. Now, one thing about Glenville kids, we could appreciate sartorical splendor. I mean, we knew how to dress, and he fit right into that, which is one of the attractions we had for him. He was sharp. What stunned me so much was when you talked, he was, like, really interested. Here's this man with all the problems that he's got and things he's got to do today, and yet he's going to take time out to ask me about where I'm going to college next year? Wow, you know? When he spoke to you, you felt like you were the most important thing in his life at that time. And that's, that's what people loved about him. Some of us, we were there because we were excited, but really we'd rather be somewhere else. But when he said, the way he talked was not over you. He used things you could understand. And that sort of broke the ice. Uh, uh, and sort of got us into, well, hey, this, not, you know, this may not be, this is not like a usual teacher thing where they stand up in front of the blackboard and give you this long lecture. I mean, he actually, he had a conversation it was inspiring, it was a speech, but it was like more of a conversation. He actually challenged us to reach for more in his conversation. He had young ideas, pushing for change, you know, struggling to make the society different. And that's what we needed to hear from him, because we were ready to do something. We were ready. We, we just needed a direction. Our parents took the abuse and discrimination. With, with us, we were a different kind of generation that were going to push for change. So, so he, he spoke to that. Those were young ideas. Basically, what he was telling us, especially to the seniors, is now it's time for you. You want your freedom? Get up and fight for it. And I think that's basically what sticks with me the most.